My intention in this series is to have it so that we have a list of all of the components showing on the left side here. And then when you click on one of those components, it opens up in the page here as kind of like a playground that we can mess around with. So we'll have a list of components and then a page that corresponds with each of those components. So let's go ahead and make that happen. And I'm going to do this in the simplest way possible just to get us started. And then later on in the series, we might kind of expand on these concepts, make it a little bit more, a bit more streamlined. So let's jump into our editor and to begin with, remove what we've got on the left here so that we can replace it with our own menu. To do that, we can jump into main layout and this main layout uh, file here corresponds to basically everything around the edges here, everything basically except for what's sitting there in the center. So let's go to this file. We're going to get rid of the essential links components. We don't need that anymore. Change the title to components because this is going to be a list of our components. We also want to remove the import of the essential links component. And let's delete it out of here as well. Make things super clean. We can also get rid of all of this. Come down there like that. And we can also get rid of this component section because we don't need the essential links component anymore. And we can also get rid of the essential links data. And this is all stuff that just comes out of the box to give us that left menu. So I'll save that. And there we go. We've just got components up there and no link items. So now we can add our own link items. Let's scroll up and we'll add it right here. Q dash item. And inside that item, we're going to have a Q dash item dash section. And the section in here is just going to be the name of the component. So the first component we'll look at is Q Ajax bar, because I'm going to do everything in alphabetical order. And by the way, if you ever want to jump around after this video to check out different components that you're more interested in, feel free to do that because I'm just going to go through every component in alphabetical order. So it's this course is going to be designed in such a way where you can just jump around and go wherever you please. So let's save that. And there we go. It shows up. But notice that we don't get that nice pointer mouse, the styling of an item that we can click on. We can fix that by coming in here and saying clickable. Save that. And there we go. It feels like something that we can click on now. Next thing we want to do is make it so that when we click on that item, it takes us somewhere. To do that, we can say two is equal to, and then the place we want to go. And let's go to Ajax dash bar when we click on that item. So coming back here, when I click on this, it takes me to Ajax dash bar. And obviously we haven't actually created that page, so it does nothing. So let's go back, come into our editor and create that page. I'm going to say Quasar new page. And the name of the page is going to be Q Ajax bar page. I like to add the word page at the end, even though it's sitting inside of the pages folder. And the reason I add the word page is because it just makes it really easy for me to search for the component. That's just a personal preference thing. Some people think it's redundant because it's sitting in the pages folder. This is a personal thing. So let's go ahead and create that. And now we have our Q Ajax bar page component. What about just Q Ajax bar page exclamation mark. Save that. However, if we come back here and click, it's still not going to show up because we're not telling it how to get to that page. We need to say, hey, Quasar, when you go to this route, take me to the Ajax bar page. And to do that, we jump into our routes folder here, specifically the routes.js file. And now we already have a route that basically says, if it's a route to nothing, give me the index.view component. All right, and I'll show you what that looks like. If we have a route of nothing, it just gives us that first component that we were playing with in the first video. So what we can do is just copy this down and I won't go in depth into routes in this video. This is just an overview so we can get up and running. And so if we go to Ajax dash bar, take me to this component here, the page that we just created. Q Ajax bar page, save that. And let's come back. And there we go, it works. Now we get the Ajax bar page. In the next video, we can start exploring this component.